Hi guys, welcome to this Easy Maths video and today I'm going to show you how to factorise cubic polynomial equations in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where a, b, c and d are integers and a is not equal to zero, because if a was equal to zero then the equation would be a quadratic function. So I'm going to show you how to factorise polynomial equations like this one using two different methods. The first method being the method by inspection, and the second method where we will use the factor theorem to work out the linear factor of the equation. And then from that result, we can then use polynomial division to work out the quadratic factor. The product of both of those factors will give us our cubic equation. So if we first look at the method by inspection... And what we need to do is we need to find a common factor between each of the terms. So if we first have a look at the x cubed plus the x squared. I'll write the minus 9x and the minus 9 here. We can obviously see that we can factorise both of these terms out by x squared. So we're going to have x squared all multiplied by x plus 1. Now, of course, in this bracket, we've got x plus 1. What we need to do is we need to use this common factor of x plus 1 through all of the terms. So to get another factor of x plus 1, what we can do is we can take out a factor of minus 9 from this equation. So we factor out minus 9, we'll get x plus 1. And now what we can do, because we've got two common factors of x plus 1, we can now factorise x plus 1 from this whole equation. So we take x plus 1 out as a factor. And then this is just going to be multiplied by x squared minus 9. Now, an x squared minus 9 is the difference of two squares. So we can write this as x plus 1, x plus 3, and x minus 3. So we were then going to solve this equation. We can say that solutions of x are equal to minus 1, or x equals minus 3, or x equals 3. So now we're going to factorise this same equation, but using the factor theorem and polynomial division. Factor theorem and polynomial division. So, if we first look at the factor theorem, now what the factor theorem does, it's a bit of trial and error. What we do is we test for different values of x until our function of x equals 0. So in other words, we are trying to find the points at which the curve crosses the x-axis. So to do this, we just test for different values of x. What you can do is you can draw a table, if you like, where you've got your x values on one side, and then your y values on the other side, so your f of x values. So first, let's test for 0. So we're going to have 0 cubed plus 0 squared minus 9 multiplied by 0 minus 9. So that's going to give us a value of minus 9. Obviously, function x does not equal 0, so we test another value of x. So let's try x equals 1. It's 1. Uh, plus 1 squared is 2. 2 minus 9 multiplied by 1 is minus 7, and then minus 7 minus 9 is minus 16. So what you can see from here is the result is getting further away from 0. So let's instead try minus 1. So minus 1 cubed is going to be minus 1, then plus minus 1 squared is going to be 1. So those two ones are going to cancel out. And then we're going to be left with minus 9 multiplied by minus 1, which is 9. And then 9 minus 9, which is 0. So therefore, that confirms that x equals minus 1 is a factor, is a solution of the equation. So as a linear equation, it's going to be in the form of x plus 1. So now we've got a linear equation, we can then take our cubic equation, divide it by our linear equation, and then we have a quadratic result. And the way we do that is using polynomial division. And what polynomial division is, is it's basically long division using the bus stop method, which you would have been familiar with during primary school. And it's that exact same concept, we're just using algebraic terms. So to solve this, what we do is we look at our first term, which is x cubed, and then we figure out, well, how many x's go into x cubed? Well, that's x squared, because x times x squared is x cubed. 
And then what we do is we take our x squared and multiply it down by the x and the 1. So the x, we're going to get x cubed. And the x squared multiplied by the 1, we're going to get x squared. And then we're going to subtract these terms. So we're going to get x cubed minus x cubed is 0. x squared minus x squared is 0. And then we're just left with the minus 9x and the minus 9, which we can carry down. Then what we do is we look at the first term, which we've carried down. And we say, how many times does x go into minus 9x? Well, it's minus 9 times, so we write the minus 9 above the bus shelter. And then we take the minus 9, multiply it down by the x, so we get minus 9x, and then multiply the minus 9 down by the plus 1, and we get minus 9. Then we can rule this off again, and then we can subtract the two rows. So we're going to get minus 9x plus 9x, so that's going to cancel out, and then we're going to get the two negative 9s, so it's going to be minus 9 plus 9, which cancels out. So what this basically means is that we have no remainder, our remainder is equal to 0. And this equation up here, the x squared minus 9, is the quadratic equation which we find when we divide our cubic equation by our linear equation. So now what we can say is we can say that x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9 is equivalent to x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 9. And when we were looking at the method by inspection, we noticed that this x squared minus 9 is the same as the difference of two squares. So we can rewrite this now. As x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. And that is the same answer we got when we used the method by inspection. So now using both of those methods that we just looked at, the method by inspection and the methods of using the factor theorem and polynomial division, we can try and solve the equation x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. We can try and factorise the equation x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. So first let's look at the method by inspection. If we look at these first two terms, you should be able to see that there is a common factor of x squared. So if we factorise our x squared, we'll then multiply this by x and then plus 2. So our common factor in this case is going to be x plus 2. So what that means is we need to try and factorise terms from minus 4x minus 8 to get a factor of x plus 2. And we can easily do that by factorising out minus 4. So then this will give us x plus 2. So there's our other factor of x plus 2. And then we can factorise this whole equation out by x plus 2. And this will be x plus 2 all multiplied by x squared minus 4. And again we've got another equation where we've got a difference of two squares. So we can just factorise this out so we get x plus 2 all multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2. If we were going to solve this we only have two solutions for x, x equals minus 2 or x equals 2. But because we've got two factors of x equals minus 2, this is known as a repeated root. So now we can factorise this equation using both the factor theorem... ...and polynomial division. So if we look at the factor theorem first, what we've got to do is if we draw a table showing our x values and our f of x values, we're going to need to test different x values until f of x equals 0. In other words, the points at which our curve crosses the x-axis when y is equal to 0. So let's start with x equals 0. So if we substitute x equals 0, we're going to get 0 plus 0 minus 0, 8. Try 1. Try 1, we're going to have 1 cubed plus 2 multiplied by 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 minus 8. That's going to simplify to 3 minus 4 minus 8. 
which is going to simplify to 3 minus 12, which is minus 9. If we try 2, we'll get 2 cubed plus 2 multiplied by 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by 2 minus 8. 2 cubed, which is 8, plus 2 squared, which is 4 multiplied by 2 is 8, minus 4 times 2, which is 8, minus 8. So as you can see, that 8 cancels out with this negative 8, and that 8 cancels out with that negative 8. So that gives us an answer for f of x is equal to 0. So therefore, we've got a solution of x which is 2. So the linear factor is going to be x minus 2. So now if we use polynomial division to work out what our quadratic equation is, we can write x minus 2 outside the bus shelter. Then underneath the bus shelter, we're going to have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. So the first thing we do is we work out how many times does x go into x cubed. Well, that's x squared times. And then we multiply the x squared by the x and the minus 2. So we're going to get x cubed and then minus 2x squared. We can then rule this off and then we can subtract the two terms from each other. So we're going to get x cubed minus x cubed, which is 0. And then we're going to get 2x squared minus minus 2x squared, which is 2x squared plus 2x squared. So we're going to get 4x squared. And then we can bring down this minus 4x and this minus 8. So we get 4x squared minus 4x minus 8. And then what we do is we work out, well, how many times does x go into 4x squared? Well, that's plus 4x times. And then we take the 4x and we multiply it by the x and the minus 2. So we're going to get 4x times x, which is 4x squared. 4x times minus 2, which is minus 8x. Now we can rule this off and we can subtract the two terms again. So we're going to get 4x squared minus 4x squared, which is 0. And minus 4x minus minus 8x, which is minus 4x plus 8x, which is 4x. And now we can bring this minus 8 down. So we get 4x minus 8. And then we work out, well, how many times does x go into 4x? Well, that's 4 times. So we write our 4 up here. And then we multiply this 4 by the x and the minus 2. So we're going to get... 4 times x, which is 4x, and 4 times minus 2, which is minus 8. Rule this off one last time. If we subtract these terms, we're going to get 4x minus 4x, which is 0, and minus 8 minus minus 8, which is 0. So what this tells us is that we have a remainder that is equal to 0. So now what we've worked out is we've worked out that x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8 is equivalent to a linear factor of x minus 2 multiplied by a quadratic factor of x squared plus 4x plus 4. But of course, we can simplify this quadratic term even further, because this 4 has factors of 2 and 2. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 will factorise to x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 because we add the two 2x's, two which will give us 4x, and we'll multiply the 2 by the 2, and we'll get a plus 4. So that factorises to x plus 2 and x plus 2. And then, of course, we just bring this x minus 2 factor down. So therefore, we're going to have solutions of x equals 2 or x equals minus 2, where x equals minus 2 is a repeated root. And there we go, that is how you factorise cubic equations using the methods by inspection, the factor theorem, and polynomial division. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've also left a link in the description to my website, and you can also check out any other videos from my YouTube channel on this page.